Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So a couple of weeks ago I did a video of what's better, running the monitor on your laptop or a separate monitor. So long story short, it's better to run a monitor. But there is some things that you guys should know. So I'm going to go over those and I'm going to answer a couple of questions that you guys had um, and just show you what the best settings are to run um, a monitor over your laptop. So first thing I'll start off by saying is my spec on my laptop. So it's a i5 9th gen. Um, it's a 1650, is it RTX or GTX? For some reason I get them two mixed up. I don't know why. Tomato, tomato, same thing. RTX, GTX. It's one of them two. Um, 32 gig RAM. Originally that laptop screen was 60 Hertz, but then I upgraded it to 144 Hertz. Now if you're looking at just upgrading your laptop screen, I did a video of that, so I'll do a thing again so you can check it out if you want. Um, and then a lot of you guys were like, how do I make sure my laptop is running the screen, the monitor resolution? Because um, the idea is you get um, a better hertz screen and then run that. So my monitor is 165 hertz, but you need to tell your laptop that it is that. And so it will run at those 165 hertz. So I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, the other questions I was getting was like, how big a monitor I can go for. Now, this is quite a sort of important one. Um, this is a 24 inch and you kind of want to stick between 20 and 24. Now, if you go too big, it, your laptop's going to struggle to run it. The GPU won't be able to handle it and the, the processor won't either. Like, like my brother, he's an idiot. He's got a stupidly wide screen and his PC can barely run it and his FPS is terrible and he's like, oh Ash, why is my FPS terrible? Well, he's trying to run a cinema screen off a little computer and it's got no chance. So save yourself the money and just get a decent size one that's not crazy big because you just won't see the benefit. So um, for me, using it on the Nitro 5, sort of 22 to 24 inch is about the sweet spot. Now. I had a couple of other questions, a couple of guys were like, well, why don't you get a 360 hertz screen or whatever, crazy high hertz? Well, you could, yeah, but again, your laptop's not going to be able to perform it, so there's just no point. Like, 165 hertz is more than enough, so I would probably stick between 144 or up to 165. You could go a little bit more, like a 240, but honestly, I'd save you money and just go for some sort of in the middle ground, because again, your laptop's not going to be able to cope with it. So don't waste your money, just get what you need and then that'll probably work best on the laptop. So let's pull you over to the screen and I will show you how to change the settings because a lot of you guys are asking about that as well. So I'll do that now, show you how I run the settings and you guys can check it out and see if it works for you. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm nearly at a thousand. And once I get to a thousand, I'll stop asking. All right, guys. So the first thing you want to do when you get your second monitor set up, you right click. And if you go onto the NVIDIA control panel, this is basically where you can go to check that it's going to run the um, Hertz resolution that uh, is on your new monitor and not your laptop screen. So click on that and load it up when it wants to load. Oh, here we go. Right, so on here it says change resolution. You want to make sure your refresh rate is set to as high as it can go. So that 144 hertz is my laptop screen and this 165 is my monitor. So that's where you can go to check that it runs that. So that's probably the first place you want to go to and check that it's on there. Um, you can also go through all your settings on here. Um, and change things if you want. These are how I run them. Uh, it's what I find works best for me. Um, and then once you've done that, you can go into your display settings. Um, when it loads. Right, if you go into your graphic settings, you want to tick on here on. This is to reduce as much latency as possible. So you want that turned on. Um, you also only want to run 
the screen that you're using you don't want to run both screens so down here where it says multiple displays you want to be running just your monitor if you try and run your laptop screen and your monitor at the same time your gpu is going to struggle like hell so just run it on the one screen um, and then i usually just power down the laptop screen uh, and leave it as that so yeah that's the main thing that you guys are asking so that's how you do that um in game as well you might have to uh tell it what um hurts your screen is um like the main game i usually play is cod so i'll just show you on here um if you go into your graphics um where is it here screen refresh rate so you want that set as high as you can you can set them at at whatever you want but generally speaking you want it set as high as you possibly can so that's pretty much all guys main questions so that that's what i've just shown you in this video and um, hopefully it's been of some help right so that's pretty much it answered your guys questions and showed you how to change like the resolution and stuff and i hope it's been of some help to you guys um but yeah i'm gonna end it there i'm gonna i'm working on a couple of other laptop videos at the minute but, um, yeah, this is going to be it for now. I will catch you guys in the next one. Oh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe.